What's going on guys? Pegasus from the Wise Guys and I'm here with What's up? It's Mike Brady again, your boy. And we we have a shout out to Mike Morris. Mike Morris is over there. He likes PP touches. Make sure you make sure you direct all PP touches to him. Let's go. Touch your PP. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're we're here with Brady and what'd you play today, bro? I played not a combo deck. Not a combo deck? Brady Shields didn't play a combo deck. Okay. Welcome to the wild world of sports where today we play trap cards. <laughs> um, uh, shout out to the Game Cafe Cricket while I do this deck profile. I really oh need to get it in the background. Literally. Shout out to the Game Cafe Cricket back there. We'll edit him in. He's way back there behind He's Phil. Pulling. Phil's with the one with the chrome dome head in the background. But we're here and we're starting off okay. with three in the mirror. Three I nib, see you. Uh, once again, it's one of the best hand traps and people are like cutting it. Yeah, but, uh, that's right? wildly incorrect. As soon as I summon Anaconda, the game's over. Yeah. Here's a nib. Wow. Facts. Nice. That's so confused. Um, three souls. Uh, this is uh, your, your push your engine. Right? Because this is a, not a combo deck. you got to draw trap cards. Facts. So, yeah. Considering we're also not playing a combo deck, we play a combo deck. Oh, is it either card You gotta have something. Uh, so, like, the differentiators of this format is if you're not playing Halk, you better have a pretty good reason. Mm -hmm. So I'm playing Halk. Goodbye, I didn't have a better reason. Um, and then two O-Lion. So when you play one O-Lion, it's bricky. But when you play two, you can banish it out of Grave, and so you can normal summon the second O-Lion. So it, it, it helps drawing singular O-Lion. There's like the rare instance you draw two, but uh, this is more consistent than playing the one, which is weird, but whatever. Uh, two Golden Lord. You don't need third. It's just a uh, absolutely slugfest of searching him and just fucking your opponent. Don't need three. No, not at all. And then the uh, last two monsters of the deck, Dogmatica, Ecclesia, and Flirtalise. Um, this is your soul's target, um, but also you can pick it up with Nadir. Uh, you can shovel it back with your Omegas, you can search it with this, and yeah, it's broken. Very, very powerful. These are, these are also like another card. Um, I think this deck specifically plays like four out of the five best cards. The only card deck this card or card this deck can't play is Block Dragon. That Shout would be out the to the expensive one, by the way. Yeah, yeah, see. swag. Um, three Nadir. This is also just like one of the best cards in the format. It's just so good. Mm -hmm. You, uh, it's good going first and it's good going second. You break boards and you make boards with it. Nice. Uh, three tuning. Uh, gotta get to your engine. There's also its mill effect is super relevant. I, I guess people like forget about that. Are they ulti? Oh yeah, yeah. ulti. I see. I only play high rarity. God bless. I, see. I can't even. He won't even focus. That's how clean it is. Sintoni's is out. Yeah. Okay. Um, three Golden Land. I think this is the best Eldritch card. Uh, it's just really versatile. You can do pretty much anything you want with it. I mean, this, they, they remade Clifford Scout. I agree. Oh yeah, dude. This is like <laughs> Clifford Scout if like it was actually like in a good deck. Yeah. Um, okay, and then White Destiny. We play this over Black Awakening. Um, I felt like the starter count was high enough, so there was no reason to play Black Awakening. But this um, can't get ashed, and there was like random scenarios where I wanted a combo that couldn't get ashed, so I could guarantee Lord on the field. So I liked this a little more. Um, and then two main deck droplets. Uh, it's broken with your trap engine. You can send your trap cards and you can send your lords and just gain value out of them. Massive profit. Yeah, yeah. This is a, a absolute blowout card in this deck. Mm -hmm. uh, upstart goblin. We want a more consistent deck. Uh, trap cards. There's a lot. Three sanguine. Three conquistador. Uh, we're playing two Wakero. Uh, the reason we play two. As it's like the worst one to draw that you main, and uh, I wanted so less trap cards in the main deck, like less of these trap cards, because the worst card is the draw going second. Mm -hmm. So as little as I could, as I could feasibly play, which this was the at least going second. Uh, three Imperm, This is the second best hand trap of the format. Compare it with the uh, combine it with Nib, and you have Exodia essentially. And then the best card in the deck. Uh, Your card is absolutely insane yeah, and, and it's generic. Yeah, this card's insane. Uh, you know, if you don't know what it does, you send a card out of your extra and pop a card on the field to attack less than it. Mm -hmm. So you can do stuff like it's send Entis and you pop two at the end phase. It's almost like an end phase twin in that regard. Nice. You can disrupt combos, it can start combos. It's one of those versatile traps outside of like Sanguine. I may play more of this in the future, but yeah, 
It's searchable, so it doesn't matter. Uh, shout out to tokens. I really quick. I mean, Link Revo, Link Cross, two Hulk. Uh, the first Hulk almost always gets negated, mm -hmm. and the second one almost always wins the game. So, because uh, they don't, do they ever expect the second one to come? Or is um, sometimes uh, they're experienced in the matchup. They will. A lot of you can you can skill check bad players pretty quick on the second Hulk based on their reaction to it. But it's just kind of it's kind of like a 50 50. You never right. know. I got you. Uh, blocker. This is better than the third Hulk because it's uh, generic. It works. Um, um, IP and Unicorn, in case you get noobs, uh, both are really valuable. Uh, I mean, it really does Aurora Dawn, so you can finish your combo easy. We don't play the uh, Anaconda combo, so we want to make this because it's the, the most consistent variation of combo. Mm -hmm. Access code for game. And then for our fusion, we play one Titan Clad and one Entis. Mm -hmm. Get your engine going, and this is an extra pop. This is just convenient to have. It's actually pretty powerful. I really liked Entis. Um, Marcher, you can also summon this off of your Hulk and banish it on your opponent's turn to Chum Block, which came up a couple times in this tournament. Really like this card. Herald, this is a, so like even though we can't make Dragoon, this card is like an auto win versus some matchups like Orcus, which I figure is going to be more popular now that Dragoon is out. But yeah, whatever. This is a, this card overperforms almost always. Savage, and then one of the best cards in the extra deck, Omega. You can use this with Nadir Servant to give you an infinite engine. So you just keep shuffling cards back and then to Deer Serpent dumping this. So you constantly have that, you never run out of cards. Uh, side deck, three Mourner. Uh, I wanted a card that I felt was better versus Adam Emancipator than the rest of them. And like, Mourner like, is the best monster hand trap, so that gives me nine going second. Ten when you add the uh, token collector, which I played. This card was awful, and I will probably cut it. <laughs> He's like no cap. It's this card was fucking shit. <laughs> uh, Hanker tops. This card's always good. I highly recommend it. Three cosmic. Another good card. This we played um, because I didn't want to play the second token collector. In the mirror match, you can go first and bring in token collector with this, mm -hmm. and uh, you have a you have a card that's good going both first and second in both cases. So I really liked that theory, but token collector was just so underwhelming that this would also come out too. Right. Um, so it's two empty slots, basically. Yeah, I'm going to save a card in the side deck for last. Uh, red reboot, because we have the ability to kill in this deck, so I wanted to have a blowout in the trap matchups. And then I side these in. I take out my hand traps going first and side in these and like whatever else I need to side in for the matchup. Mm -hmm. um, just because like trap cards are better when you can guarantee yourself to go first. Uh, these cards are horrible to draw going second. So I, yeah, I felt like this would be the best bet. Mm -hmm. And then our time card, which is Starlight. Uh, you already know I'm always playing a time card. And then trap we'll, card plus a hand trap, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the tech of the weekend was a Prohib. Um, so this card is really good in the Eldritch Mirror because you can call Golden Lord and you basically shut them off. Um, it's good uh, when you're reading hand traps. Mm -hmm. So if you... Um, you want to play around nib, if you want to play around like, if you, if you have an open a hand, like a lot of times you can really tell what your combo is going to lose to. Most of the time, like, nib will literally just tear you apart. Like, summon the help, they don't end from it, prohib the game. Mm -hmm. game. Uh, almost every time. Um, so it's for Nibiru, but it also can block you in a mirror. It can block off stuff in a mirror. Do you yeah. want to set up with it before you use it, or is it? You always want to summon the help first to see if they have imperm. Mm -hmm. And if they have imperm, you're fine. You can just. You can either um, extend your combo if you have the extenders, or you can use this to like put out a key engine piece. Uh, so for example, like if you're playing against Rock, you hit this call Block Dragon. Uh, against like Warrior, you hit this call I Sold. Stuff like that. It's like protective and it's like very very powerful against hand traps, which is like Nib is like one of those cards you just can't beat in this deck sometimes. Right. You have to concede for it. That's the side deck. I like this card a lot. I think it. Um, in theory, it was really cool. It may not be like practical though for a real event, mm -hmm. but it was neat to say the least. I right, got you. Yeah. Well, cool. how'd you feel about the deck, dude? I, um, I, I heard the changes, so I don't need to say that. But how'd you feel about it? How'd you feel? Honestly, so like, as I said, this this deck can play, but I believe are the four of the five best cards in the format, which is Eldland, Nadir, Halky Fibrax, Link Cross. And then the fifth card is Block Dragon. All right, so this card plays four of the five. And I feel like that's like more reason enough to like play the deck, and there's like absolutely no reason to like not. Like Dragoon Dragoon can improve this deck too, and that would give you five out of like the six technical best cards in the format. Mm -hmm. But 
I don't know. Dragoon has Conflictions with Dog Ninja. So it kind of it kind of depends. I, I would I would like to test more of it and get a better idea. But I do think this deck is like oh, clearly like broken. Shout out to the shout out to the blink. I'm not ignoring you. I just okay, you're good. Shout out to the yeah, watch. You gotta, you gotta actually look at something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but that's that's it, man. Uh, yeah. If I top next week, it'll be ten weeks in a row of topping locals. So I see you. Here's to it. I see what you did there. Well, we ain't got nothing else, man. So we gotta, we gotta, we gotta heighten up our locals. Gang, gang. Shout out to the locals. Shout out to the locals. Gang, gang. Shout out, to, shout out to, shout out to my man Banks over here. He's over here chilling with the phone. Uh, how y'all doing? <laughs> doing out there in TV land? Shout out to that Buster Blader jackass back there in the background with the Raiders hat on. Yeah. Fuck the Raiders. No, I'm joking. Hey, man. I'm joking. Hey, man. Chiefs Kingdom. That's all I know. That kingdom's in where? Chiefs Kingdom. Chiefs Kingdom. You don't even know what city you're in, sir. You don't even know what city you're in. Shout out to the locals, though. Shout out to Mike Morris back there. I see you, Mike Morris. Every Friday night. Every Friday. Every Friday night. Friday night. Zoom in. I'm going to see how far I can zoom in before this video cuts off. All right, can I get my card for the price? Phil, get your black ass out of the... Okay, I'm